My name is David Burns, and my study is titled A Low Parameter Rendering Algorithm for Fine Textures. When sensory data is digitized, it is necessarily compressed into some format suitable for digital storage and transmission. For audio and visual media, many compression algorithms have been developed. Although important current research is aimed at developing analogous algorithms for tactile sensory data, such as the work by Fettweiss and Steinbach, at present no definitive standard exists for the growing industry of touch-based technology. We first consider the pixel. A pixel is a single spatially discrete single color area of a virtual image, which combines with numerous other pixels to form a perceptually continuous image. Similarly, we can imagine a small spatially discrete building block of a virtual texture, which we here call a texel. In previous work by our research group, Dr. Meyer introduced texels as spatially discrete portions of a virtual texture, each with unique spectral magnitudes in a number of discrete frequencies. Later work by Dr. Friesen demonstrated three perceptually important dimensions that can together be used to describe a wide variety of fine textures, amplitude, pitch, and irregularity. With these results in mind, we introduce the single frequency texel, where each spatially discrete texel contains only a single frequency of sinusoidal oscillation, with each texel's frequency drawn stochastically from an underlying distribution defined by the texture designer. In this way, the perceptual sensations of textural pitch and irregularity can be controlled with very few required parameters. To study this rendering algorithm, we pursued two research questions. First, how small must the physical length of a texel be for the subject to find a texture indiscernible from another rendered using the same underlying parameters? And second, how reliably can subjects control the distribution parameters to reproduce similar multi-frequency textures? For the first test, subjects were asked to discern which of three virtual textures displayed on an ultrasonic friction reduction device was not an exact replica of the others, and instead a new texture drawn from the same underlying parameters. For the second test, subjects were given control of the pitch and irregularity of an editable texture and asked to match reference multi-frequency textures. Experiment 1 demonstrated that, while performance varied among subjects, none were capable of reliably discerning one texture from another drawn from the same underlying parameters when the texel length dropped below 2.6 millimeters. It was observed that performance was correlated positively to the so-called directional proportion, which measured how often the subject was swiping in a single direction only. Experiment 2 demonstrated that subjects tended to use pitch and irregularity parameters as expected, although pitch was observed to be used in a more reliable fashion than irregularity. Taken together, these results suggest that the Texel rendering algorithm has the potential to produce perceptually diverse sets of virtual textures with a remarkably low number of input parameters, making it both a user-friendly design tool and a powerful scheme for tactile data storage. Thank you.